I am going to finish the video uh, in respect to these uh, commanding rooms which I initiated uh, today. Uh, let me see how the hell that looks like. In support of my claims I can describe all commanding posts of French British military. No, 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 I can also do of American. Uh, American was so popular that British uh, started to nest themselves inside, you know, the British Royals. Uh, they started to use more often American <coughs> commanding facilities than facilities of their own. The one who was updated the most about the situation through the satellite system were Americans anyways. They knew more than anybody else did about what precisely went on. Yeah. And let's see what I what I have published here so far. Oh okay, it's not everything here. I I did not update it yet. Alright, so let's see what this is gonna look like once I updated this. No, it's not going to give me a chance to scroll down. It did. Okay, so there you go. Americans, we're going to start off here. Americans got their modernized, uh, modernization, modernized uh, commanding room that very much looked very, very f similar to what we see today. They got it done in 1978. And you know what it looks like in 1978? We're going to start off here because it was British that got that from Americans. Uh, and, you know, then it's all other guys that done too, including the um, Russians in 1979. So I did not publish anything about this. But okay, let's go and we're going to see this here. Yeah, I was going to suggest that this is basically what it looked like, a commanding post from Americans. Yeah, somewhat like this and uh, somewhat like that. Um, it started off with what you see here. This here, this was American early, this stuff here. This is what that looked like. Um, it was about this big, really about this big. This is what it was, like this. Um, but actually, if I go really back in time and I think about John McCain and I think about other politicians, American presidents, uh, not really. It was just about, let me demonstrate you. It looked like this. Uh, I'm going to take... this here away like this we're gonna put this uh, you're gonna do it like this now I'm gonna demonstrate you how what you see today how it all happened uh, and I don't have anything I would use to cloud this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do it like this. The computers were not, not available back then. When it comes to computers, uh, they did have uh, some something, they did have something that was you know, for the typing purposes and stuff like this. Uh, but this stuff, this shit here is computerized. This is what I'm, what I have to make the point out of it. Okay. So they have these things here that you see here. They had stuff for the typing. Um, they would do this. Now I am going back to 1970, 1978, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm going back to 1977, 1970, 1978, you know. Uh, what this stuff here was, uh, this thing here, 
I think this stuff here, this, this thing here, this was a GPS, I think. It got something to do with the GPS, with, uh, with some kind of, uh, satellite images, uh, GPS stuff, something like this. Uh, actually, sorry, no, GPS popped up later on. It was nothing GPS. Uh, but the satellite, the satellite, uh, imaging something like this, modern, uh, it was not color monitor. I think the color, I think the monitor was like a green and, uh, black. Green and black monitor, I think it was. And this is what they would use. One like this, it would be. And it would be typically inside of the commanding room would be about exactly what you see right there. Like this, like this, yeah. Um, this is how it all started. The first one who got this stuff were Americans. This was year 1978 with my being about seven years of age at the time. This, what you see right there. I'm gonna still need this stuff. Uh, in meanwhile, what went on? Uh, I will still zoom because you're not supposed to see that other portion of the yeah you're not supposed to see that whatever is left here of this picture you're not supposed to see just yet in meanwhile the French had uh, uh, boring stuff really going on they had one in Paris uh, which was like a central French military command and then they have another one which is strictly for the foreign legion command the foreign legion command was like a phone room the commanding room was like a phone room phone room single phone it looks so stupid it looks so depressive uh, that I didn't want to go in there it, not because it would be scary or something like this but it was idiotic I felt idiotic uh, small bureau I felt like when going inside of that room I was totally unimportant I felt like I didn't fucking count I feel like I was uh, okay I tell you what fuck this I don't see any of that so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm going to demonstrate you. We're going to go more in this direction here. And let me demonstrate you what this looked like. We're going to take uh, the walls away. The room color was like a uh, beige color. Like, let me see if I can. Uh, <laughs> something like this white like this like this white like this white beige we gotta use this uh, and we're gonna do it like this uh, to to um, too dark Um, I actually I even got impression the room was like white that was the room was actually it was I, I think it was quite bright actually like this like this like this and um, what I'm gonna do is I will just <laughs> the, the, the dimensions wise yeah you are talking about Uh, let me just walk the room. Let me just get the feel. Uh, I don't know. I I felt like two and a half meters white. Two and two point five meters white, and. Uh, If you went inside of the room, let me just walk to the end of this uh, one, two, three, four, 
be uh, maximum about like uh, four millimeters. Four meters, I would give you. Uh, let, let me think about this stuff here. Two and a half meter. Shit. Uh, that was actually assistant of the assistant assistant of the foreign legion uh, chef main guy uh, as to the. However, this was the room I was told that they would take the orders and this is where they would uh, do the whole thing. The magic about the French foreign legionnaire commander that uh, ran the whole thing because it was a commander and his assistant. His assistant was the one who handled this stuff. Commander, however, would give one orders. He would go in his office and the two would do the thing on the on the field had to completely visualize the positions the situations of the that's why it was uh, a commander and his assistant because commander was not as commander was an old legioner always uh, who already got his status at the headquarters but uh, his assistant was always somebody who was out on a terrain uh, always engaged always visited always traveled to these positions always engaged in these things and um, well he did too but the guy the the assistant his job was to visualize together with the commander absolutely uh, the positions the understanding this was equipped uh, with uh, with a table inside of this booth was uh, uh, a table on this side here therefore as you uh, as you go inside uh, well the commander had the same thing his table was also on the right side as you would go inside of the room except the only difference between assistant of the commander room and the commander room was that I am going to take this away where I have written 2.5 meters and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put here 2 meters was uh, maximum room size of the assistant uh, commander and it was not the only one there was there was they had the officers at the legion center they had rooms that were uh, the top ranking officials they had, they had their offices that were about exactly like this you're talking about a few of them and that's basically what it, uh, it was about wide two meters and uh, maybe you went four meters inside it was a uh, strictly for work stuff then as you will go down the hall you would get to the commander room and the commander room look like this uh, I demanded minimum commander I was I was so angry when they they told me to go inside of this two meter cubicle uh, I, I this totally totally sucked I was happy I heard I was excited about them they 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 got promoted now it's going to be inside the office and uh i would see the fucking office and i see this cubicle and i said fuck this i said i'm out of here I said are you serious yeah i'm serious they are, this is it what what do you mean by this what you la 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 i said hey, okay i see you some other time uh so they had to bring me to the commander room commander room was more luxurious if you consider four by four I would say the size is a luxurious that's four by four and I would not give him more than four by four uh, four by four meters this is it the same shit the room had a telephone uh, so this is on the same floor this is on the upper floor you have 
uh, offices like boots, like a phone boots actually. Uh, you have about, I don't know how many of this, uh, maybe six, seven offices like this, maybe it was like this, yeah. The, these are the people that were in, uh, in charge to communicate obviously with the terrain and then they reported to commander inside of the they had the phones inside yeah the main instrument was telephone in every booth in every one of these booths the main instrument was telephone and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and copy paste this here with this with this thing here this was the identical thing here we're talking about uh, it wouldn't let me copy that so that means I have to do it myself okay his table was also more like this much more comfortable room also equipped with a telephone like this and these are just boots like a two meters wide four meters maybe in distance three four meters in distance with guys inside taking notes of uh, of uh, whatever is happening out on a terrain this is how it was straight into the headquarters of the legion that's how they communicated and from here from the commanding room then it's where they would give the orders so this was a commander uh, I probably am wrong about this number seven here I think it was more than that I think they had more more than seven yeah you know make it let's say let let's say make it 10 okay maybe something like this okay let's let's make it 15 whatever they have both sides of the hallway in both sides of the hallway they had this this is what this was like um, small rooms where they would sit inside and they would take the orders and with this information they would commute themselves to assistant commander and to uh, assistant commander was just maybe a little bit bigger a room that was next to uh, a room from the commander and I told you about what the commander room looked like that's all there was this is a French foreign legion when it comes to the headquarters in France the headquarters in France is a typical uh, somewhat uh, reminded me of the classroom office setting nothing special really nothing much to even talk about uh, this is where you would have totally different military uh, and uh, this military was uh, well uniform and, and this and that they would be much more polite you know in French foreign leisure was like a, in a wild movie something like that uh, it was a totally different atmosphere uh, and this classroom with a map and uh, with a table where they would interact and plan and this and that was pretty much what everybody had until 1978 what I demonstrated you still went on in 1989 you get it I'm doing up to 1989 for the French Legion French Legion right here French Legion So everything I do it's up to 1989 
89. The information I'm supplying. Things changed afterwards. But the main changes took place between 1978 and 1989. So... I am going to zoom myself out like this and I am going to accent this thing here. Main things happen between 1978 and 1989. When it comes to commanding room, this is what this is. I am not going to even bother with the knot and stuff like this. I want to bother with any of that stuff. We're not going to be doing this. Okay. I thought this would be smaller. And it's not. And so... Okay. So we did the French Foreign Legion. We started with Americans. We started off with Americans. I explained you Americans. I explained you the French Foreign Legion. I told you about the Paris. Let's go to to see what happened with Americans. Let's let's go and see what happened with Americans. And the next, what happened with the British? Uh, British didn't care about this. Pah, about about the same shit like in Paris about exactly the same identical stuff, nothing went on. Uh, they had this old typewriter also inside, on the side, one typewriter, one old typewriter even was inside. Uh, nothing went on. Uh, however, what you see here, uh, Americans started to update uh, and it was soon after that they got also the GPS system. Something, I think like just two years or something afterwards, something like this, the Jeep, some kind of GPS system popped up. GPS, when? The GPS part were long in the United States in 1973. The GPS system was launched in 1973. Uh, I don't know. I have no fucking idea. Uh, maybe one or maybe the other. I have no fucking idea. And I think it was both. Something had to do with the GPS. Like, that was like deluxe modernization. You're talking about 1981. And this is where British no longer could... Uh, ignore American advance so that other stuff might not even still make a whole a lot of progress but uh, I think actually it was GPS maybe even first but with the second thing I don't know with the satellite with whatever pictures and stuff like this America just you know left British French in the dust totally there was like such a considerable difference between them that uh, British royals went wild. They no longer could ignore any of that. They, they went completely insane. And so the next thing that you see is just as Americans started to boost their uh, commanding room technology, um, I would just say that um, by the time British reached the level that you see here this this thing here that you see uh, Americans didn't know anymore what the fuck to do with what you see right there is it make no no fucking sense no more this stuff so there was a trouble because technology was awaiting them to take uh, to take on a fucking challenge and do the stuff, I mean, British ended up with what you see right there, with something like this, and when British ended up with something like this, Americans took off, eh, fuck this, you gotta do it like this, Americans took off and uh, it was 
this stuff that you see right there like this except the people were standing up they no longer would be sitting they would now be already standing and this shit was ample like this and so you, you're you're talking about you're talking about the screen uh, not the screen but the set of screens that would go okay the British first of all British we're gonna write down here British got the and Prince Charles and Prince Andrew come down because they got their baby too and it was it was like you would give them a candy you know you would calm them you know British got their stuff 1982 I don't think I should give you 1980 okay 1981 let it be 1982 I give you okay okay 1981 1981 and they get way too often lost more and more often in American system inside it was too damn appealing I was not the only one and so now what you would have is you would have this picture coming on a on a surface this here the main commanding room this here you see this stuff here ay 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 this is what all of a sudden appeared this monster here this 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 was all one fucking room all this all this stuff here this was a monster room and this monster room was really 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 appealing this monster ample monster room that had monitors lined up and with the people standing up like this like this standing up had a like a, um, step up like you would walk you would walk from where you see right there they're standing up like this and this would be separated from what you see uh, you know you would if you if you were to get to this monitors uh, you would have to I'm gonna borrow one of these guys now and it makes sense for me to also zoom right because you guys cannot see this see this here this boom we gotta take this guy you know that'll be ta -da, la 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 they would be dancing around here uh, talking la 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 what whatever and they didn't want me to see this shit they made me see these things in parts and that was because of the Ruskis it was because of the Russians the Russians did the replica of this and Lavrov and Putin went completely insane demanding Putin was in the picture already way before Lavrov even before Putin demanding totally schizophrenically demanding from Americans Britons to not demonstrate me the whole thing uh, they knew they will do the same thing so let's see how it all happened for you to to get here to be this guy here um you would only have monitors you would not have any kind of uh, you see with this the way they sit with this things here 
yeah this I made a mistake um, I see where I already made a mistake we're gonna correct this sorry guys I wanna take this away like this monitors just exactly like this and you would have so what we are talking about here is a wall wall with monitors uh, screens okay and so what it what this would look like would be like this uh, you have them there, blah, blah, interact with the politicians and go and they would walk here back and forth through here here back and forth and here was the wall and this is what this was this is what this was this came to life if I say 1986, it's not good. 1984. 1984. Americans. America. 1984. This thing here. It uh, remained a secret for some time. Not everybody would know about this. 1984. America. 1984. And then you have the people that are famous, famous fiat uh, copy makers that know how to copy fiat. Stole a lot of old fiat cars and turned them into limousines. Rasia. Rasia made their own version of what you have seen right there in 1989 um, and um, hold on a moment we're gonna do it like this we're gonna do it like this we're gonna take 1989 down and we're gonna turn this into I need to think about this shit a little bit more. This is a big problem for me. Um, I, I'll give you 1992 1992 um, so basically what you see here is a copy right some sort of some kind of copy something like that um, I'm trying to figure out something else. Yeah. I, 1992, that's very generous of me. It's like extremely, extremely generous of me. This is like extremely, extremely generous of me. Um, this, this stuff went on in parts. Uh, but this stuff here that you see this thing here just like yeah okay 1989 they, they really copied this stuff here this is what Lavrov liked this this things here this is what's
this was the thing uh, except that when it comes to the Russians I am not even sure uh, if you know how far they ever made it but Americans had something that was um, like digitalized it was different uh, Americans got afraid of me the next thing you see here this stuff here they got afraid of me with a good reason they got afraid not because of me they got afraid of this people here this this here this the philosopher this one here this was the one that dragged all the information to the Moscow to the Belgrade supplied this was the man this one here this here the searches are also safe they dragged information all the way to Moscow to Belgrade and whatever information that they managed to drag over there it was then Americans and British they had to give to Belgrade to the Moscow the same things equipped with the same thing the same stuff they were basically the people These are the people that figure out that my involvement into world of colonialism prior to existence of Slovenia as an independent, independent country would endanger if the truth would come out would endanger uh, Slovenian independence existed yeah, they went on and they campaigned and uh, no, 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 you cannot do this to this guy you cannot go out and tell this stuff because if you tell this stuff they're going to destroy us and they had others Chinese and Russians they instigated yeah, 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 why you did this yeah, and then they they painted us with a more driska, with a more drek they threw more drek on themselves the so called independence leaders from Slovenia and become with the Milan Kuchan host here people from the countries that were affected with the past of colonialism who went on to claim that I am guilty that I, I don't know what I did this, this is how they traumatize I don't think they traumatize anybody else they all lied like a chore of liars then on the other hand because uh, Croatia got liberated at least somewhat Bosnia got liberated at least somewhat insisted don't know what the fuck to do with me because they owed me independence for Slovenia, for Croatia, for Bosnia because British royals and Americans told them if it was not for me, for him we wouldn't go on extra mile for you for you to have the your countries even this is the way it was so now they lied from one extreme to the other painted themselves with a dreck with a shit so they would stink more and more and more and attract more and more problems against me and this is how extermination procedure went from Yugoslavia Greater Serbian Chetnikia state all the way to the new, new Slovenia and so this is what is new in Slovenia this is what was new in Slovenia I became dangerous for a NATO, dangerous for American military, dangerous for the British military, dangerous for French, because it was this dirt that continued to follow me, that basically these police investigators, officers that would continue to drag themselves alongside and report absolutely about all the novelties to if in case the West would not give this novelties to uh, Russia, Serbia, they went on and immediately start to cry. Yeah, you know, well, we you know, cooperation. We don't get the cooperation. We're we're left out of the cooperation and this and that. 
So there ain't nothing else here to say about the commanding Rome, about all this stuff, how this stuff went on. That's exactly how this stuff went on. That's exactly the way this stuff was. Um, this here, this uh, this screen and all this stuff, this big ass screen and stuff like this, this things. I don't know, man. They got this screens, this shit. This uh, this table, this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff. They got this probably really in 1989. Yeah, in 1989. I'm gonna go. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go with this stuff here. This was done in parts. So you know what? I'm gonna do one more like this. We're gonna do it like one more like this, and I'm gonna write down here. We gotta do this specifically, like this. The desks and this kind of stuff that they wanted to look modern. This. This is the stuff that they they got this done in 1989, 1991, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you this here. Lavrov was the main man. Sergei Lavrov. And then this stuff here, this this year was about like 2001. Something like this. Something like that. You're talking about these screens here, this kind of stuff. This. They equipped themselves with this, uh, whatever they were using. And this was considered as a main, as a commanding room. Uh, this changed. They replaced this with another type of room. Uh, and that other type of room, um, again, started to closely resemble the rooms, which after the 1989, uh, transformation started to take place with Germans, with uh, Europeans taking a big changes uh, and I don't know, whatever that was in Denmark, Norway, I don't know uh, but those are again completely different that's again different room, that's what you would have again, a different room and so on, but this is what this was, yeah, this this is what this stuff was. Uh, that's again another story. This is up to 1989 and this is the main stuff how it all started. Uh, I did not even look into... Yeah, because this, this, these are all my, these are all my witnesses. They were all my witnesses. This stuff was all my witnesses. They, you know. And you keep control over the death, and eventually, the killers become the witnesses. If you force them to become witnesses, right? Just like every criminal that is caught at one point in time. Uh, will become will assist you with information it's not about that he will confess or that he will uh, admit crime but in this situation here we're talking about the recognize recognize or recognize you recognize you uh, recognize hey um um Let me see this here. I saw one time they had different kind of uh, commanding room, and that that did look like uh, really like stuff that I have seen they have done. The most advanced uh, transformation that took place there was something based on what then uh, 
Russians started to make also copy of. Uh, this is actually, it took place in Germany. And uh, it was at the same time Germany and uh, in Germany for a little bit it remained a secret. Uh, Germany was the one who made that type of room. Now you're talking about a totally different, I don't see it over there. I'm gonna go German control room, German commanding room. The way they have, uh, the way the Germans camouflage their military progress, yeah, because Germany was still uh, <laughs> Bundesrepublik Deutschland and Deutsche Demokratische Republik uh, there they are they were two different countries divided after the World War II in two different countries and so before this united they had stuff they have all kinds of stuff going on but they were not allowed you're not allowed to have your military the only thing you were allowed to do is basically host foreign troops in there assist them best to your abilities and basically if you like give them free whatever you you know cooperate with them and which they did yeah but the new german commanding rooms totally blew out of the sky everybody and the germans didn't know how to bring them on the picture you know and so what the german did what the germans did the year was 2000 what the Germans did was, okay, so we have also German rooms, okay, something significant, all right, of a greater significance. So we have all this, and then we go here, and we're going to take one more here, we're going to do it, we're going to make one more here, and we're going to call this German rooms. It's worth it, it's notable, it's, it's noty, why not? German commanding rooms, German commanding rooms so what the Germans did to avoid uh, too much attention they would not get in trouble but they needed this stuff they had their own idea uh, they released their model in 1999 demonstrating one only to me uh, all right even 1998 you know yeah so what do you do now with this stuff Germany already was united well for eight years whatever they came up with idea that they would introduce this commanding room on the picture through the Norway through the Norwegian King Harald so found myself in Oslo I I don't know Oslo or Bergen or whatever it could be Stavanger I don't know what place was it but I know it was in Norway nah. I think it was Norway I'm pretty sure it was Norway not Copenhagen not Denmark but Norway and they looked like this no ah, shit I don't even see this kind of stuff no 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 the novelty about the German uh, commanding rooms were totally high-tech with the screens in the background that you have seen uh, everything was uh, just like I demonstrated but they would have uh, uh, what about euro euro No, that's boring. Uh, 
No, 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 none of this stuff here. Uh, maybe they have Norwegian one somewhere. Ah, I like that. So they use Norwegians to uh, to market. Um, yeah, but not really. Not this. I did not have this stuff in mind. This is this is pathetic. This is pathetic. Uh, let me see this here. If we get to see something, and if not, uh, I'm just gonna do my stuff because. Okay, yeah, except this kind of stuff that you see here, except that um, uh, you see these guys here, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is true, this is, this, I cannot argue with you, with this, yeah, this was Norwegian. This was Norwegian. This is exactly probably also the date that I gave you. This is the stuff. Yeah, this is. But no, there was another room that popped up. And that room looked like this. They had. Uh, they also had like this. They had a. Uh, uh, like you would have computers on both sides. You, you, you understand? Like. Like. You know. Much, much, much more. Uh complex stuff you would have people sitting here like this and you would have people also sitting on the other side wait a minute uh, yeah but um, different kind of stuff than this like this this is this is definitely this this probably goes to 2000 what you see here okay why not I'm gonna put this one here we gotta put this here, Norwegian. Uh, yeah, Norwegians hosted me inside in there. Wherever they. Uh, yeah, you know what? I will give it to you for this year, 2000 here. 2000 with the Germans, 2000. Boom. Uh, yeah, but there was another type of room that we see that I saw one time. Uh, or whatever time uh, yeah let me demonstrate to you that yeah German German and Norwegian modernized in 2000 So we gotta do it like this. Gonna pop this thing here like that. And uh, yeah, this is very very high tech also and stuff like that. One time they got me criticized. They almost kicked me out too. They were not happy about being criticized. Very sensitive. Okay. Um, top Russian. In general let me see let me see this guy let's see this guy yeah this already looks like something I had on my mind he played like an evil guy um, you know then there is another one there's another guy is this other guy let me see this guy uh, it looks kind of a blonde guy oh there you go there you go. There you go. What uh, what is the name of this one here? This is a uh, Igor Konoshenkov. Igor Konoshenkov, Major General, Major General Igor Konoshenkov. Well, we're gonna do it like this. Ah. Yeah, this stuff here. Huh. Let me see if I can get 
I've seen them having this kind of room. Well, this is the copy of what Germans started like in 19, you know, 1998. Exactly the type of setting. Uh, let me see this here. If this will be it. Uh, this is what the Russians started afterwards. Like sometimes. Stop, stop. This is what the Russians started when I was in United States of America. They brought this to their life with assistance of the Germans and others. Probably sometimes, I would say, like in 2008. <laughs> yeah, just like this. Let me see this. Or, uh, don't you like uh, your update, your military update? Uh, yeah, there is nothing else to say. Um, except if they will show me the whole fucking commanding room, which I cannot find anywhere. But I saw one time on a video that stuff. given that they have something like I described that they would have like on both sides people inside also that uh, would sit on both sides of the table like you have a table and you have now you have it on the both sides and that stuff have I don't know it's just so fucking different that stuff that stuff is just so different but that's the kind of stuff that goes to the early beginnings of uh, what Americans, not really, really early beginnings, but what, Amer what Americans had. So, that's it. I don't know what to tell you. What about this guy here? Let me see this guy here. The, the, um, this one here. The, the Sar General Sergei Sarovkin. They got everything, everything, everything they got from America, from British, oh, uh, with the British, the way this business went, uh, brutal, because with the British was like this, that I was all the time reprimanded, <laughs> in one side I presented a threat to them, on the other side, I presented a different threat to the British, to Americans. Um, all the time I heard, but he doesn't want us, but he doesn't want us, he doesn't want us anywhere near, we don't want him anymore in this and that, but, but you know, all the time was a fucking complaint, and then the British reprimanded, we reprimanded once, we reprimanded twice, we reprimanded whatever. 100 time, 200, 300, whatever time. Uh, next time I shall tell you only once. Etc, etc, etc. On one side, it was completely evident that the fuckers get whatever, whatever, whatever they walk in is whatever they walked out with. Uh, I believe that This individual was making a photo shots. I believe that he and other so-called Slovenian independence leaders were taking a photos of this premises. I believe they were uh, they were taking photos of technology. This is what disturbed me the most. But how the fuck am I going to complain about that stuff when you had others also going in there? And uh, you know. What what is it? I mean, if 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 you are in in Yugoslavia, you're in a Soviet Union, and you don't take photos of it and and do what you are told. I mean, you know, 
You know what I mean? I mean, this is very, very relative. The problem is when Slovenia became independent and, you know, after facing off with a Russian threat, after facing off with a Serbian threat, after facing off with all this stuff, this guy simply headed to Brussels to drink coffee every day to work for his early retirement, for his rewarding European Union retirement benefits, bonuses and stuff like this. Uh, and the only thing that happened with me is I was deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper in shit. And the only thing that happened was these people are just coming with more and more and more reasons why not to help me out. Not to help me out, but why not to stop this pedo case? This is about help. This isn't about help. I don't give a fuck you your help. Who the fuck needs your help? I don't need your fucking help. You never provided with any kind of help. I requested help when I was inside of the psychiatric hospital. That's where I even ended after four years of torture. To be laughed at. To be laughed in my face at. Yanis Yansha had to go to prison. He couldn't help me out. He had to go to the prison. They became busy with presenting themselves as a trouble to society. Taking a corruption, getting themselves in corruption just enough to be seen by the society. Basically delegitimize themselves, basically have gone ahead and discredit themselves in front of the society. They couldn't do fucking anything about it. What the fuck would he do about it? He couldn't fucking do anything about it. The only thing, the only, the only thing Pederle could do is with Janko Katsin, with Janis Jansha, with Igor Baucher, with all this Slovenian pro-independence, big people like, like this motherfucker here, like this guy here, like this motherfucker here, just like this motherfucker, or like, I don't know what was the other one, the only thing they could do is, and that's what they did, they complained, they cried, they complained, and they lied, and lied, and lied, and lied, so they could do more and more damage to me, and systematically were killing me, so they couldn't help me out, the only thing they could do is they poisoned people with lies that went on to even suggest Slovenian people this. That's why I don't like these motherfuckers. I, I have no reason to like them. What is this here? Is this your former president of Slovenia? That's what the fuck is this. See this? This is the former president of Slovenia. You do you know who replaced him? The one who replaced him was yet one more Putin. This was yet one more Milosevic. This here is a Milosevic that you see up there. This is Milosevic. The one who replaced him was this guy here. That was Janis Drnošek. This was a number two. The one who replaced Janis Drnošek was this murderer here. This KGB murderer. They are all KGB Udba killers. His name is Danilo Turk. The one who replaced him was this killer, was this murderer, was this assassin here. Which one of them is more KGB? Which one was more pro what you refer to as a ex-communist? Which one? Every fucking one of them. The one who, re who replaced him was this one here. Her godfather is Milan Kuchan. Every fucking one of them. So you see that every Slovenian president so far belonged to the KGB. Belonged to the Serbs, belonged to the Belgrade. Every fucking one of them. With the Slovenian independence politicians acting like uh, idiots presenting themselves to the society like uh, renegades, like uh, some kind of uh, 
victims of the new system. They started to act like a goat, they, they started to act like a shipple to create the hysteria within the Slovenian people. Took bribes, got themselves deliberately incarcerated to set the bad example for everybody. Started to claim that they are victims of the system and so on. And at the same time they were killing me. They were killing me now 52 years. You know what they came up with? What they told me? They told me that there is no such Slovenian president that would not be ex-communist because they are waiting for me. Actually, that they don't want to be a president. They don't want to, the Slovenia doesn't deserve to have a non-communist president yet. Really. And to the people who come to Slovenia from abroad, they told them, Slovenia, yeah, Slovenia is uh, Slovenia, you know, this is, uh, uh, used to be Yugoslavia, you know, we are an Eastern European uh, country. Uh, we, <laughs> you know, we need, uh, we need ex-communists in Slovenia, so as a president, you know, so that people understand that we are part of Eastern Europe. So, you know, this is a, such a fuckerai, this is such a fuckerai, world of lies and violence, psychiatric violence, scumbaggery, that world have not seen in the history, it's all based on treason, everything is nothing but treason and all of the treason, and treason and treason, and treason and treason, and uh, they cried, they cried how it been, you know, okay, cry and cry and cry till the truth die, and that's about it, thanks for watching this video. Till the next time I fuck you in your ass. I meant this to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Novo Master Police, Slovenian Parliament, special regards to you. I know you like it. Get used to it. <laughs>